everybody and welcome back. My name is Digi and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the headache badge also known as the secret agent morph. But before we keep going, shout out today goes to Master Melon Official. Thank you for being first and commenting first. All right, so there are many ways that you can do this. One is in a private server or two inside of a public server. Now, if you do it in a private server, you can cut the wait time literally to zero. So first, head over to the map over here to the long alleyway where it says class of 99 rules. Step in there. Then once everything's right done and loading, go to this side and you're gonna see a door right here in front of the van. Now, what you're gonna have to do is wait till 5 11 p.m. in the game which is essentially nighttime but if you're in a private server what you can do is type in this command right here it will then activate the door setting the time of waiting to zero you have one minute to enter this door private server or public server once you walk in it will then teleport you to another game and this is where it gets hard okay I recommend equipping your sword immediately so then you don't get attacked by anything that might be coming out of the shadows. Go ahead, grab a gun also, but there we are. So what I recommend is using the small sword on the small heads and the gun on the big heads. All right, so for example, you see these guys here? These are different though. You can just use the gun here since they're just using the toilet unfortunately but once you then have all that you're gonna go over here and you're looking for a key in this key whoo I wasn't paying attention you want to use a gun here on the big guy you can also use it on the small ones but it's just easier to use the sword on the small guys because it just kind of does an area effect damage I believe there's one in here yep there they are there's a couple actually there we go now if you are to die in these zones there are five zones in total you do have a chance to revive but it costs 30 robux but you only have one revive in zones one through four in the last zone you have infinite revival but in here you're gonna look for the key right here on this toilet step on it and now you're gonna take this key all the way this way down the hallway like so then go to your left and then unlock it Boom. Now, once you step on the green dot, it will send you to your next zone, which is number two, and it resets all of your items. So step on this and then wait for it to teleport you. Like I said, five zones. So right here, I recommend you equip your sword and then you start swinging like a madman. All right. Use your gun here, maybe on the big guys. You can maybe use it on the small ones too. It is completely up to you all right there's no really right or wrong way it's just which way is easier and works best for you all right now these toilets here actually help quite a bit they kind of snag the um the bad guys the heads oh boy i'm sorry about my frame rate guys i don't know i'm still trying to figure out how to fix my computer all right let's see is there any more in here Oh, yep, there's some right here. And pretty much what we're gonna do is clear out the room in here, okay? So just use these toilets right here next to you to your advantage. All right, there we go. Let's go over here. Oh, there's one right there. He's just hiding underneath the toilet. Boom. I believe that is all of them. Once you've gotten that, then you're gonna go up here to the flame and grab the key. Once you've got the key, then you're gonna go ahead and head over this way to this door. Go ahead and bump into said door. Get out your gun because they're gonna be down this alleyway and just go ahead and shoot down it. Oh, I'm out of bullets. That means you're out when you start glowing. You know, you're not glowing because you're a god. You're glowing because your gun is just ran out of bullets. Anyways, once you've cleared them out, oh, there's still a couple down there. So, you know, sometimes stragglers like to hang out and about. Then you're going to go over this way, 
and go up this ladder right here. This ladder will have a couple of small guys as well. So just get out your sword and take them out. Ooh, oh boy. Okay, there we go. A little feisty. A little feisty. All right, once you've gotten taken care of, you're going to go ahead and jump onto this green thing. There we go. You kind of want to fall into it at the same time and wait for it to teleport you to zone three. Here we are, zone three. Now here, just quickly jump around because they are gonna be all over you like bees on honey. Yeah, I know, we like honey. Go ahead and use your gun here on the big guys so then you don't get attacked or accidentally bump into them. And then pretty much once you've done that, it is easy from here on out. You can just kind of use your gun as much as you can until it runs out of ammo. You can quickly grab another gun over here at this little pedestal. There we go. And just use it on the rest of them like so. Boom. I think there's a couple down there that got stuck. <laughs> Don't worry. Let me get you unstuck. Oh my god. This one does not want to die. Stop. Alright. You know what? We'll just leave him alone. <laughs> Alright. Next is the key. The key is right over here by this tree. Go ahead and collect it. Boom. Now what you're going to do is break open this glass and shoot the skibbity heads like so. Kind of use the hallway as a funnel and then do this again with the small ones. The hitboxes are actually pretty big on the even the small skibbity toilets. You don't really have to aim precisely, sort of just in the general area of the skibbity toilet heads. They're not even toilets, they're just heads. <laughs> Here we go. Boom. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. Oh, ran out of ammo. Boom. There we go. The guns are random. You know, not all of them have a lot of ammo. It's very interesting. But once you got that, then we're going to go here and head through our next zone. I believe this is zone four. It's gonna get a little harder, but this one's actually a pretty easy start because you land on top of a building, which is very, very nice. There we go. Once you're up here, I recommend quickly shooting these big guys here because you actually can't kill them through their hair. That's right, their hair is super strong. Get rid of these bald guys. These bald guys are very, very fast and strong, okay? So, now here you can try getting rid of some of them if you want, but it's probably easier just to drop on down like so and use, um, now you just, you know, do this. Ooh, uh, ooh, bah. You don't have to always do it the way I do it, by the way, guys. You know, it's different for everybody. You know, if you want to use your gun, over your sword great but i do highly recommend using the sword for big crowded areas because it does multiple damage to multiple um characters also when the little guys get really close to you it's super hard to really get a shot on them so it's way easier if you just use your sword on them so once you've cleared out this area you want to then progress forward I do recommend not going ahead too far while you're back, um, you know, starting here because then you will initiate these guys. So, you know, don't go forward too far ahead before you've cleared out certain areas. Right here, again, just go and pick them off as best as you can. Distance is your friend, okay? If you get too close, it can get really nasty real fast so and then there's like a cool little you know easter egg here there's a bunch of cameramen but what we have to do is go up the stairs here like so then head over here now careful the moment you go around this corner there's a bunch of small skibbity toilets and we're just gonna go ahead and open fire oh never mind not anymore <laughs> now we're firing any more I'm actually out of... Oh, I got a couple. All right, you want to use your gun on the big guy over there. There we go. Once you've gotten him, then just use your sword for the rest. The dead bodies kind of act as like a shield because their hitboxes kind of remain. So you can kind of use the dead corpses or the dead heads as a shield for yourself. There we go. 
Once you cleared it out, your exit key is right over here. And then we're going to go over this way. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all the guns that are no longer useful to me. There we go. All right. Once you're here, use your key. Boop, boop. And now use your gun to maybe pick off. Well, well. <laughs> Not using a gun anymore. <laughs> all right. I guess I'm going to use my sword. This is a good little tip. Um, make sure you um, pretty much give yourself a lot of um, guns, I guess, before you go into other areas, because this will happen. You know, you'll use up all your bullets, and now you've got to resort to your sword, which means you can get damaged, which means you know you can die. And we don't want to die. Dying is not fun in in this game. Oh boy, I really need to watch myself. Anyways, I'm gonna clear out this room. I'll see you guys in just a few seconds. So actually, you don't even need to clear out the rooms. But anyways, this place is crazy. Go ahead and use, oh dear, oh dear. Woo! Oh God, oh dear. No! Wait, wait, what is happening? All right, so I made it back here. And now, um, I just realized, I, I just figured out a way to like, cheese this a little bit. Okay, maybe this won't work. This won't work. Oh boy. All right, so anyways. Um, wow, these guns are not good. The, these guns are making me fly somehow. I, I don't know what's going on here. All right, anyways, let me get out of this place. So, pretty much what's happening here is you've got to fight the skibbity heads. Oh my goodness, this is bad. Okay, let's try this again. All right, now that I'm good and safe, and died like about a bajillion times. What you want to do is aim for the eyes on the mass skibbity toilets, and then obviously use your gun on the big guys right there. Use your sword on the small ones. If you can, get behind these trees and they will help you tremendously. All right, so shoot the eyes out here, right there, like so. Oh, I'm out of bullets. That's fine. There was literally four gun spawners here on this map. Um, yeah, I thought I had a, a, a method there for a little bit with the hiding on top of the skibbity, um, I guess, shrine. Uh, clearly, that was not the way to go, but it's fine. You know, we live, we learn. I did it for you guys. Now you know that is not <laughs> the greatest way of fighting them. But pretty much all we're doing here is clearing out this courtyard and then we're going to do some other stuff. So I'll be right back. Let me go ahead and clear this all out and I will explain the rest. All right. So once you've cleared out the courtyard, looking at the Skibbity Shrine, what we have to do is get the key first. So the key is going to be over this way, down this alleyway. All right. There's only one way in, one way out. Now, there are a couple of toilets in there, or heads. I keep calling them toilets because they are skippy toilets. There's just no toilets. Now, careful, there are going to be quite a bit in here. So, if you want, use this corner as a way of, you know, funneling them in to your bullets. Now, there is, oh, oh my God, how did you get past me? All right, all right, you know what? Okay, fine, sword. We'll use the sword then for this. Boom. All right. Now you can see there's a glass wall right there. If you break it, it will then, um, oh, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, woo. There we go, break the glass wall. There we go, boom. Keep breaking it. It will despawn eventually. It's just really annoying that, um, you know, it, it takes a little bit for it to despawn. So just, just wait a few seconds. But what you're gonna do is clear out this area and the key should be on the other side of these heads right here. So clear it all out, boo boo boo. And there we go. There's our key. Let's go ahead and take it over this way now. So forgive me, Lisa, for I have sinned. You're gonna go this way back into the courtyard area. Now you don't wanna go down this alleyway. It will actually send you back to the center here. So don't go down that one. You want to go down this alleyway where it says valve. That's where you want to go down this way. Okay. Now I suggest getting out a, a pew pew 
because there's going to be quite a bit of heads in here. So just be ready. Oh, there's one little guy. They're all over. All right, they're around. They're on the left. They're on the right. Just make sure you pick them off as you know best as possible. All right, you don't want to attract the horde, okay? If it, <laughs> because the horde has quite a bit in there. Can I not get him? Is he not dying? Oh, oh, okay. All right, and then get that one. Then there should be two little, two fast guys there. And then this one there, boom. Now, a little trick I can show you guys. Here is the door, do not unlock it. Stick your gun through, and, oh, well. <laughs> Stick your gun through. Oh my gosh, my gun is just running out of bullets. And just shoot, okay? What I'm doing, essentially, is just breaking all the glass from over here. So then, what you can do is wait for it to all despawn and shoot down the hallway. Now, devs, if you're probably watching, you're gonna fix this. So, everybody, do this while you still can, okay? This will make it so much easier. You know, they won't be attracted to you. They'll just be, you know, mindlessly dying. You know, it's that easy. Now, I am gonna unlock it though, just because I, I don't wanna sail all the way back here and just, you know, cheese it, make it too easy for myself. Um, it's actually pretty so easy anyways like this. Um, just make sure you got plenty of guns to, to use as you're going through this um, last part. This is the end, ladies and gentlemen. This, this, this is it. This, this, this is it. I, I just... <laughs> I just want to get through, please. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. And now that we've got to the end, I already have the badge because I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get here again. Step on this and then step on that to be sent back to the main game. You can talk to him, but let's go ahead and check out Secret Agent. All right, once you're back in the main game, head over here and there is Secret Agent. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is so cool. Look at him. Look at Secret Agent. This guy looks amazing. Dude, all right. Let's quickly check out the animations. So we got punch, then we got equip knife, then you can do a little stab. Then watch how he unequips it. Zoom. He just sends it out into the ether. It makes it disappear. Oh gosh, my frame rates. I'm sorry, guys. Equip gun. Oh yeah, very nice. Then we can do, you can literally just spam the shooting button. Look at that. You can just spam it for days. Then he unequips it and throws it back into the ether. Equip console. I, I don't know what that is. I don't know. But watch this. <laughs> they have no idea. Do they know I'm still here? Oh, you can still kind of see a little bit of me, I think. Do they know I'm still here? Oh, they have no idea. <laughs> and then disable invis invisibility, unequip. Oh gosh, my frame rate. Oh gosh. Then we got point. Hey, look at that finger. That's a nice finger. Uh, decline and teleport. Oh, teleport. Oh, can I teleport to other places? I can't teleport there. Can't teleport there. Teleport to ca I can teleport to cameraman. Gosh, my frame rate is dying. So I can teleport there. Where else can I teleport to? Teleport to outdoors? No. Teleport to city? Oh my gosh, my frame rate. Oh no, I'm sorry guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh boy. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe down below, and join the badge hunting squad today. You start code Digi whenever you buy Robux or Premium. As always, stay awesome, stay cool, go out badge hunting. Bye-bye.